had a doctor's appointment this morning and a couple blocks away from my doctor's office is the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I don't know how many of you folks are aware, but there's a little car race around here every year and uh, they built quite a place to uh, hold it. So I'll show you around a little bit. This is the new main entryway with the famous grouping of flags and the office building over there to the right. And as we come up high enough to see the track, that's turn one. The Indianapolis 500, I understand, is the largest attended one day sporting event in the world. And part of that is because it's quite something to see. But the other part of it is the venue is so big with bleachers so much for the outside, there are seats for so many people. There's the famous pagoda, which is a tower that has media stuff and dignitary seats. Behind it is the garage area where the race teams can prepare their vehicles. There's a golf course that's divided in two parts right here. Half of it is inside the oval of the racetrack, and the other half is over to the east outside the oval of the racetrack. Some of the curvy roads inside the oval are a road course that they do Formula One style and other type of sports car races. And you can see that even the lawn mowing guy really gets fancy with the stripes, but the Indy 500 is just on the big oval. This is the main entry and the driveway goes through a tunnel underneath the track so you can get to the museum and all the other things in the infield. When I stopped to take pictures, I didn't know there would be any cars racing on the track. But I don't know whether they're practicing or what kind of event that was. It's been fun looking at this familiar landmark from a high angle, and now we're heading back towards the main gate and Speedway's glorious traffic circle.